Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss passing objects as function arguments. In our normal function call, right now we are passing variable a and b. Both are of type integer and value of a will be copied to x. That is again integer and value of b will be copied to y. That is again integer. Statements will be performed sequentially and control will revert back to the calling function. Let us illustrate this process. We are passing variable a and variable b. Both are type integer and it will be taken as argument to the function. Now suppose if we want to pass t1 and t2, these both are object of type time. So in the definition we are supposed to write another object of class time. So here another object is time x and time y. So t1 will be copied to x, t2 will be copied to y. Here statements will be performed and control will revert back to the calling function. So t1 and t2 both are of type time and it will be taken as function arguments and it will be processed. Same way we can return the object as well. Here we are having function add. We are passing variables a and b. Both are of type integer. After processing a and b, it will re return some integer value and we are supposed to store in variable result. So let us illustrate this. This function is taking argument a and b of type integer and returning some integer result. Same way we can pass t1 and t2 as objects and after processing it is returning t4 which is of type time. So we are supposed to receive that result over here of class type time. Let us illustrate this code with the example. Here we are having class time. Inside that we have taken two variables hour and minute. One public method that is getting the time from user that is in hour and minute. Same way we are displaying hour and minute. So let us create one object of class time t1 and t2. So I am calling function t1 dot or we can say get time. It will get time in hour and minute for object t1. Let us call t2 dot get time. It will get time for object t2 in hour and minute. Now suppose we want to add hour of t1 and t2 and minutes of t1 and t2. So let us create function add time right now it is returning nothing and passing let's say time t1 it is object of class time and time t2 so here we are adding t1 dot hour plus t2 dot hour and updating our our variable same way let us update minute that is addition of t1 dot minute and t2 dot minute so here add time will add hour of object t1 and t2 add minute of object t1 and t2 and it will be set in hour and minute that is the private members of the class time. So now let us call add time function using object t3. t3 dot add time. We are passing t1 and t2. These two are objects of class time as arguments. So now we have get time from t1 and t2 when you will call t3 dot add time it will set hour and minute for object t3 so let us display all three display time let us save and execute this program so i am entering our 2 and 20 for t1 dot get time now for t2 dot get time i am entering 3 and 25 t3 dot add time will call this function it will add 2 plus 3 and store it to the hour of t3 
20 and 25 that will be added and stored into minute so here is the output hour and minute for object t1 that is 2 and 20 for object t2 that is 3 and 25 and for object t3 that is addition of this 2 that is 5 and 45 so this is the way how you can pass object as argument same way we can return the object so here we are having class time so we are supposed to return object of type time so let us create object result over here and we are calling function add time using object t3 and result will be stored in object result so we are supposed to create here let's say object t4 and we store in object t4 dot hour and t4 dot and will return object t4 so t4 is of type time we are returning t4 here the t4 is returned and stored into result so we are calling here result dot display time we will not call here the t3 dot display time because we are not setting hour and minute for that Let us compile and execute this code 2 and 20, 3 and 25. So, this is the data for object 1, object 2, and here is the result after getting t3.add time into result object. So, this is the way how we can pass objects as argument and return objects. Thank you.